Um, I've been blogging for five years. Uh, today I have uh, about 150,000 readers a week, which is a lot. Um, and uh, I study strategic communication here at Lunds University. Uh, and I, um, I write in a Swedish magazine called Vekerubin. Uh, and today I want to talk about how it all started, how my blog became so big and how I managed to keep it big. Uh, I also want to give you a few tips on how to uh, create a successful blog uh, and a little about how I work with PR companies. Um, so in 2005, when blogs began being big in Sweden, um, I thought it was really silly, it was stupid. It was just picture-perfect people with perfect homes, they ate perfect food, um, and I, I, I didn't feel good about myself when I read these blogs. So I figured that I should make fun of the whole thing. Uh, so I created Eguina, which is my alter ego, and she was everything that the other bloggers wasn't. She was untidy, she was careless, uh, she didn't care. She showed a picture of like, her messy room, and I will show you. Um, how do I go to the next page? I just click. Ah, a common post in fashion blogs is uh, the outfit of today, Dagens outfit. Uh, so I did the same thing, only a bit ironic. Uh, and I worked at Burger King back then, that's why I'm wearing that. <laughs> uh, and so I made fun of it, and also I put a picture of my food. Uh, but it wasn't those tiny little salad things, it was, yeah, ironic again. Um, so people started following me, I think mostly because I was the first female humor blogger, uh, and also because it was different, you haven't seen this before. But today, um, I write like funny conversations with my friends, um, and uh, put up pictures from my yeah, normal day life and write little stories. And this is also uh, what I write in Vekerubin. So I th here is some um, tips on how to make a successful blog. And you often say that uh, quality is better than quantity. But I think it's the other way around when it comes to blogging. Because you don't visit a blog that's never updated. Uh, so even if the update's not as good, uh, you have to keep it coming. And make yourself known. Uh, they won't visit a blog that's, um, that they don't know exists. So you have to comment uh, in other social medias, in other blogs, and post your blog link everywhere. Uh, and provoke. It doesn't necessarily have to be like very across the border. Uh, it could be um, you have strong opinions, you dare to say your opinion. And niche your blog. Um, sometimes it can be good to choose a smaller target audience. And if you like horses, you can write about that. Um, and in my case, I chose to have a humor blog. And don't give up. I think that's the most important one, because people think like, I often get emails from people that uh, are asking, oh, how do I get my blog big, and how do I make money on it? And they think it's like an overnight deal, and it isn't. It takes a very long time. You have to be interested. Uh, I think it took like a year even I, before I had like 5,000 readers. So don't give up. Just hang in there and put up posts every day, and it's going to work sooner or later. And the last one, make the reader feel like home. Um, don't talk about things that the reader can't follow. No inside jokes or stories about your grandma that the reader doesn't know who she is. Um, and I thought I should talk about a little what engaged people. Uh, and that's really weird because I don't know. Sometimes when I write things and like, this post, I asked why there was a black dot in my um, almanacca. Um, and I got 589 answers. And I, I don't know why. But yeah, it's really weird. It can be like, what candy I like the most, and 
people don't agree with me and they get mad. And how can you like that candy? Yeah. Uh, so I get a lot of emails from PR companies who want me to write about stuff, and I get a lot of packages sent home, like uh, three to four every week, maybe. And uh, after I receive the packages, I often get an email like, hey, did you receive our uh, package? Why haven't you written about us yet? And that really annoys me, <laughs> because uh, I don't do stuff for free. Uh, but in this case, I did. And that was because they took the time to write something personal. They wrote like, oh, we read on your blog that you're having a cold. I uh, hope this helps, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, in that case, I, I do write about them. That was all I had. <laughs> Thank you.